Hi children, it's Pastor Stephanie. Really good to see you. I am here in our church's sanctuary here at Cross and Crown, but look, it's decorated so nicely. The color is blue and we have these candles lit because it is now Advent. Advent is a season of the year when we're waiting for Christmas, when we wait with hope and excitement for Jesus to be born in this world. And remember, this happened many, many thousands of years ago, but also we can think of it like kind of happening right now because we still wait with a lot of hope for things to get better with this virus going around and going back to school and things like that. So we're waiting with hope. Now today in our church worship service, we talked about Daniel. Daniel was this person who prayed to God and he wanted to just love God and have God love him. He's just kind of a simple, kind of quiet guy. But there was this law in the land that said that people could only pray to the king. Well, he wasn't going to pray to the king because this king, this guy, wasn't God. So Daniel's like, no, I'm just going to keep praying to God. And so, you know what happened? People threw Daniel into a big den, that means like a big area, of lions. Now, lions are not nice. I mean, they're nice to look at from a distance, like if you're at the zoo, but they're not going to be playful animals that you roll around on the floor with, like dogs and cats. Lions can bite you and chew you up. You want to be really careful around those wild animals. So Daniel was there with these lions, but you know what happened? The lions did not kill Daniel. They did not eat Daniel. Later on, Daniel got out of the lion's den and he said it was because an angel closed the lion's mouths. When an animal's mouths closed, it can't bite you. So that was pretty lucky for Daniel, right? An angel was there to do that, to close their mouths. Have you ever heard of angels? I bet you have. Angels are these creatures, sometimes we see them in movies or in comic strips and they have wings and halos and they're all bright and shiny. But angels actually are in the Bible, all kinds of angels. You're gonna see all kinds when you look at the story of Jesus' birth and gosh, they're everywhere from the Old Testament all the way through the New Testament. I had this one statue of an angel. She's looking pretty. This looks like a she, doesn't it? Maybe because the halo is pink. <laughs> but she's got wings and, and it reminds me that angels are all around us. You know, angels are all around you too. Angels are messengers from God. Angels send us love and hope and peace and guidance and angels even protect us. Daniel had an angel that day there with those lions that protected him, that kept him safe. Even though there was so much around him that could have been very scary and very dangerous, he was kept safe by, those, by that angel that day. I want you to know that angels are all around you. Wherever you are, whatever you're going through, whatever you're feeling, if you're sad, if you're scared, if you're angry, no matter what you're feeling, you are surrounded by love, the love of God most of all, but also the love of God's messengers, these angels. They're there to help you and protect you and lead you and guide you. They're not God, so we don't worship them, but they're messengers sent by God to care for you. So even if you feel kind of lonely sometimes because you're not with your friends at school, just remember you're not really alone. You've got the love of God and you've got the love of, of the angels and the angels are there to be your friends and to help you. I know you can't see them, but maybe you can feel them in your heart. Maybe you can know that God would never leave you alone and that you're always cared for. Let's have a prayer. Dear God, thank you for this day that you've given us. Thank you that your love is always around each of us. Thank you that your angels are also around us to help us and support us and guide us. I pray for each child watching this video today. Help them to know that your love surrounds them and that your holy angels are around them in a strong shield of protection. Lead us all and guide us all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.